So moving on to part C, we're given that we have a point B and that point B has coordinates 5, 15 and 1. And we've got to show that the points A, P and B are collinear, that is lie on a straight line, and find the ratio of AP to PB. That is, show that the points A, P and B are collinear and find the ratio of AP to PB. Okay, so you might like to give that a go and uh, just pause the video, come back when ready, just to check your answer. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. Let's just see how you got on. What I'm going to do is just sketch the line. Okay, well imagine that's the line L, L1 I should say, and we already know that we've got the points uh, A, let's imagine that's the point A on the line. Remember that had coordinates 0, negative 5 and 11. We have the point P, let's imagine that's the point P. We already have worked out its coordinates in the last part in part B. It had coordinates 2, 3 and 7, so I mark that in, 2, 3 and 7. And we have to show that AP and B are collinear. What I'm going to do basically is find the vector A to P and well B, let's just imagine B somewhere over here. Um, I'm hoping that it will be on the line obviously so that the three are in line. So what I'm going to do is find out the vector A to P and also the vector P to B and hopefully I should be able to show that P to B is a multiple of the vector a to p which would then show me that or prove that they're in a straight line. Okay so start off then by finding the vector a to p okay and the vector a to p would be let's just we could put our origin down here actually and you could see that going from a to p is the same as a to o followed by o to p or simply O to P minus O to A. So I'm going to write that down as A to P equals O to P minus O to A. So O to P, remember, was 2, 3, 7. So write that as a column vector, 2, 3, 7. And we will subtract the vector O to A, which is 0, negative 5, 11. If we do that, what we get is 2, 8 and minus 4. Okay, bracket needs to be extended a bit more. Whoops, not very good. Okay, so that's the vector A to P. Oh, what's that doing there? Okay, let's get rid of that. Okay. And what else do we want to do? We need to find the vector P to B, so I'll go over here. And P to B, similarly, imagine B was up here, say, okay, just there. I know it's meant to be on the line, that's what we're trying to prove, but uh, let's just imagine it's somewhere, anyway, over there. So P to B would be, similarly, O to B minus O to P. And working that one out, O to B would be 5, 15, 1, so we would have 5, 15, 1 as a column vector, 5, 15, 1, and subtract O to P, O to P was 2, 3, 7, so put that in as a column vector, 2, 3, 7, okay, and simplifying this is going to give 3, 12, negative 6. So 3, 12, negative 6. 3, 12, negative 6. Okay. So we have the vector AP, 2, 8, negative 4, and the vector PB, 3, 12, negative 6. And what you'll notice is that if I multiply the 2 by 1 and a half, I get the 3. 8 times 1 and a half is 12, and minus 4 times 1 and a half is negative 6. 
So I can say that since PB is one and a half times, or three over two, one and a half times the vector AP, they obviously must be parallel vectors, and one's a multiple of the other. And because they have a common point, okay, common point P, then it must mean that they are collinear. So then let's just write that in that then A, P, and B are collinear. So collinear. Okay, so that would prove that. And then we've also got to find the ratio of AP to PB. And the ratio, when we compare the lengths, must equal 2 to 3. Okay. Right, so uh, if you did that, uh, you should have got yourself four marks. So hopefully uh, you did. Well done if you did. And that brings us to the end of question five.